Hi everyone and welcome to our Heritage Week project on the Ohm Stones of County Kilkenny. My name is Nora from the Ohm and 3D project and along with my colleague Gary from Digital Heritage Age, we have visited and recorded in 3D a number of Ohm Stones at various locations around the county since uh, the, travel, the recent travel restrictions were lifted, so basically in July. So this is the first in a series of videos to share with you the outcomes of our project. Uh, in this introductory video, I will talk about Ohm generally. And in the following two videos, I will bring you on a virtual tour of the Ohm stones of the county. The remaining videos will consist of footage recorded while on fieldwork at various sites. And finally, there is a longer video by Gary outlining the basics of 3D capture using photogrammetry. So first of all, what is OHM? Well, it is a script or writing system, which was designed specifically for the sounds of a very early form of the Irish language and was initially used to write or carve short inscriptions, mainly on stone, in the centuries before writing in manuscripts began in Ireland. So we're talking here about the approximately the 5th to the 7th century AD. Home inscriptions are sometimes also found on smaller uh, portable objects of different types of materials, such as bone, as uh, you can see an example here from Orkney of an home inscribed knife handle made of bone, and again, uh, an home inscribed amber bead from County Clare. However, these types of objects are in very small numbers in comparison to the numbers of home stones that we have around the country which is approximately 360 in total. So this is what the originally 20 Ohm characters looked like. So along with their rough equivalent in the Latin alphabet that we use today. So firstly, it was initially a vertically rather than a horizontally written script. The characters were divided into four groups of five the first two distinguished by the orientation of one to five lines or scores relative to a vertical stem line. The third crossed the stem line diagonally and the fourth consisted of one to five notches on the stem line representing the vowels. You might be wondering what they wrote with this Ohm script and the answer is names. Names of uh, people and kin groups who were obviously important at the time. And we also find formula words such as Mokwi, meaning son, modern Irish Mok, and Awi, meaning grandson or descendant, modern Irish O. And this, uh, these would be the origins of our Irish names, McCarthy, O'Neill, etc. So here we have a good illustration uh, of how Ohm is laid out on stone. So Ohm inscriptions were generally carved along the natural edge or angle of the stone, which served as the stem line, generally starting at the bottom left-hand side of one of the faces and reading upwards across the top and down the right-hand side. In the case of this particular inscription, which reads of the priest Ronan, son of Kofgon, the first word here, which is the, the, word, the primitive Irish word for priest, Crimether, which later becomes Crifter. But here in the uh, very early Irish, it starts with a Q. And we can see here on the edge of the stone, we have five scores to the left, uh, which is a Q. Then we have another five going diagonally across the stem line for an R. And then we have five notches which are much shorter and they're right on the stem line and that is for an eye and so on up along. Ohm stones are primarily found in Ireland but also in smaller numbers in areas of post-Roman Irish colonisation in Wales, the southwest of England, the Isle of Man and Scotland. Most of the Welsh inscriptions are bilingual in Latin script and language on the face and in ohm on the edge of the stone. And here you can see an example of that with the ohm 
on the edge or angle of the stone, and then the equivalent inscription in the Latin or Roman alphabet on the face of the stone. To focus in on Ireland, ohm stones are found in most counties, but the highest concentrations by far are in counties Kerry, particularly the Dengan Peninsula, and in Cork and Waterford in the southwest. However, you do get concentrations up into Kilkenny, as we can see here, and up into Carlow and West Wicklow, and also uh, a good scattering of omestones across the North Midlands. So my work on the Omen 3D project involves uh, researching each of these stones and sites and also recording the stones in 3D and making all of this information, including the 3D models, available on a dedicated website, which I will talk to you about in the next video.